How difficult was it for you in the sense that when you were a teenager mm. versus now, I think the situation is very different because I feel it. When I saw class, I was like, is this how teenagers are right now? Did you feel that? I mean, social media is the biggest difference, I think, since when I was um, a teenager. And uh, class obviously tackles a lot of issues um, that social media kind of um, gives to you. So, I mean... I was so separated from social media before uh, class actually happened. I was non-existent on Instagram. And I actually have a personal story to share. I got really sick right after the release of class. And I realized I don't think human beings are meant to feel those levels of dopamine, if you know what I mean. For the first four days, I was bedridden. And all I was doing was going on Instagram, refreshing, looking at my followers go up. And it felt really good looking at the positive comments looking at how much you guys like loved it and like accepted our characters and stuff. And after about day four, I realized that I started feeling a little bit low, a little bit depressed. And that's when I called my mom, actually. She's sitting right there. <laughs> and I had to fly back home. And um, what I've seen in a lot of younger people is that um, social media can be really detrimental to mental health. Because I feel like now your image on social media, your on-screen image is just so much more important than your real life persona. And that's like the biggest difference from, uh, difference from when I was young to now, I think. Yeah, true. I think uh, um, teen teenagers are chronically online and there is this new uh, thing which is uh, called not wanting to be perceived, which is, which is a very uh, uh, rampant thing now is that People, like, these kids who are online, they have a completely separate online persona. It's almost like an avatar that you have online. And they live vicariously through those Instagram or Twitter profiles. And I think, of course, it will have consequences. Good or bad is, I mean, we're fairly new into it. I don't know what it means. Of course, there is, it comes with, uh, like he said, detrimental to mental health. But I feel also, as human beings, we're extremely adaptable. I think I read a study where now, in fact, you can text and walk. Your brain has kind of like uh, tuned you into like being able to walk on or cross the road while texting because we're we're just you know as human beings we evolve, we adapt. So I feel it's it'll takes it'll be a while before we truly understand the effects of it. But yes, we're chronically online and we do not want to be perceived. You know, you've, uh, with class, opened up a series of conversations about these issues, which never happened before. Uh, Nena, when you read the script and you saw some of the scenes, it's not something that most Indian films or series talk about or delve into. Were you also scared that you'd end up also offending some sections of society, that you'd offend the conservative Indian? Um, first of all, when we got the show, uh, and they were saying that it was an official adaptation of Elite. That is the first time that I engaged with Elite as a show. And when I saw it, I realized that actually this would be really such a strong piece of material to adapt to an Indian setting because there's so much to talk about. You know, with the class divide, there's so much nu uh, nuance um, that if done well and if handled by the right makers, it would actually be super impactful. And then when I saw Oshim Aluwalia's name attached to it, and I saw Netflix attached to it, there was a sense of, I don't know, in my gut, I just knew that it would do it. Uh, of course, when you, when you actually shoot the material and, and you, know, you see things that are happening on social media with other projects, you know, there is, of course, a lot of anxiety and nerves with, okay, I, I hope that the message that we're trying to deliver so authentically and honestly is perceived correctly, as Moses said, the fear of perception or how we want to be perceived. But I think everybody came to this project with so much honesty and uh, really trying to put a mirror without uh, really trying to make a judgment. And uh, because the, everybody, all the characters on the show are of different class backgrounds or whatever, there are different entry points for every viewer to come into the show. So you could come in through a Sabha, you could come in through a Dheeraj, you could come in through a Koel, and you would have a completely different experience based on your life. So, um, so I kind of deviated from the question a little bit, but uh, yeah, I genuinely, there was, I was nervous. I think all of us were, but somewhere we felt that the content was made uh, with, with the correct intention and we're happy that it delivered.